Hi and welcome to the more advanced part of the tutorial of T-Paint. First thing I'm going to mention is how to change some of the settings so that you can have the higher textures at lower altitudes or vice versa or have the steep angles slightly different. So that way you could make this look how you want it. For example, you might want the grass to come on to this level here and only want the sand in these areas here. So I'll show you how to do that. First of all, close the editor if you have it open. Now if you go into your T-Paint folder and go into data, there's two folders, two files, I mean, that determine the height and angle textures. So let's just open them up and have a look. Now you can see that they're very similar, they're just pretty much single line with black on one side, white on the other. On the height, gradheight.tga, this is the lowest point in your map on this side, and this is the highest point in your map on this side. And so you can, if you want, you can, uh, you can slide this over kind of slide it over to one side a bit, you know. You can also transform it and by doing so you can make the part in the center uh, a bit more compressed or you can do the opposite and this will give it an effect of a gradual sort of change from the higher texture to the lower texture instead of just being a sudden change in the texture you know, it's kind of blurred out a bit so you don't notice it and the same goes for the angle but on this side this is zero degrees on this side it's 90 degrees and so you can do the exact same thing slide it over to one side kind of you need to color this bit here in black you know you can do the same thing transform it compress the part in the middle you know extend it you know, change how how it, the, the gradient is and how it sort of blurs the two textures blur together yeah so that's how you can control the height and angle and another thing I wanted to mention yes another thing I wanted to mention is in Photoshop if you open some TGA files, the high, low and steep if you open one of them up, so say if I wanted a different color for the high um, texture, I could actually change this if I wanted. You know, I could, uh, you know, let's let's make a sort of more darker green. Well, you just paint paint over it. You know, you can do any effect you want onto this texture, and then save it, as we did before. Save high TGA saving over 24-bit pixel and now this will be the uh, color in the map so you know there's lots of possibilities so if you if you don't like the textures in Battlefield 2 you can make your own or you can edit theirs you know possibilities lots of them uh, another handy tip is when you're editing the files for gradient angle and gradient height and also the high low and steep files if you want go into the BF2 T-Paint program and unselect delete temporary files when you're painting the map and what this will do is this will create these files normally it deletes them but it creates these files that you can now open in Photoshop this color big file and it allows you to preview your new texture for your map. So this is my texture for my map. I changed the uh, some of the the files to make them look a bit more strange. And yeah, so I can preview to see what they look like. And so now I can, uh, you know, I might not look the, like the look of that. You know, I can I can then go back into the data, change these files, run be to T-Paint again 
you know, it'll update the files. I can reopen the color big file um, and see what it looks like without having to load up the editor every time I do it. You know, the editor takes a long time to load. It's very useful. And uh, that concludes the advanced part of the tutorial. So thanks for watching, guys.